Thank you very much for your kind introduction. I work for JFE Steel, unfortunately not JFK. <laughs> Sorry. It is a privilege to be at this prestigious conference. I believe this is my fourth uh, conference uh, to attend. And uh, I think it seems like I'm the old, one of the quite few participants from the East, eastern part of Asia. Uh, it is my great honor to sit next to the great executives of the leading Russian steel producers. Uh, before I start my presentation, I'd like to make two remarks. The uh, thing is, my presentation was prepared to deliver at the afternoon session of tomorrow's conference. Uh, since my uh, other commitments, I had to fly out tomorrow, so I requested Alice to accommodate my presentation somewhere today. So my presentation may not be a right fit to the other participants' presentations. Uh, that is the first remark. And the second remark is the I prepared this presentation two weeks ago. At that time, the things was a little bit upbeat in Japan. But uh, since I left Japan, stock prices fell about 10%. Yen has been appreciated a great deal. So my presentation may sound a little bit optimistic, but uh, please accept. This was prepared some time ago. So let me talk about the uh, uh, today. I like to talk about Japanese economy, some developments in the steel industry in Japan, and our company JFE Steel, and what we uh, what we are going to trying to achieve. Okay. Uh, Japan's this was the data was the, based on the consensus forecast uh, produced December last year. So 2015, the fiscal year is pretty much close, very close to the actual data. So uh, according to the forecast, Japan's economy is forecast to grow by 1.4% in 2016. Our personal consumption, our residential investment will likely to increase uh, before the consumption tax hike schedule in 2017. Uh, capital investment continues to grow as corporate performance improves partly due to the adjustment of a high end and the long awaited uh, replacement of production equipment. So this slide uh, is about the corporate earnings uh, toward the end of the last year. Uh, the government policy we call it Abenomics has been bringing some positive results and Japan's corporate earnings were about 70 trillion yen. And that is something like the 580 billion US dollars. Uh, this is a record level. However, those of the Japan steel producers are 5 billion Japanese yen, uh, which is about 4 billion US dollars. Uh, not so outstanding. Uh, second, unemployment. The unemployment rate is falling below 3.5% level, uh, which is very close to the full employment. More jobs are created. A shortage of personnel is prominent in the construction and service sectors. Uh, Japan's trade deficit widened due to the increasing energy imports, uh, particularly caused by suspended nuclear power generation. Uh, weaker yen has aggravated the situation. However, the trade balance is improving due to low oil prices. Then let me talk about steel consumption in Japan. Manufacturing accounts for about 60% of steel consumption. The auto se sector makes up uh, about 30% of total steel consumption. Uh, construction is modestly increasing due to public works projects. And we have Olympics in Tokyo 2020. Some preparations are underway. OK, next. Uh, let me talk about the steel consuming sectors. Uh, the high end led to the decreased exports, expanded overseas production and lower domestic production. Uh, even after the adjustment of high end, production centers not returning to Japan and export is not increasing. Uh, the reasons include a concern the currency situation may change at any time. The automakers focus on local production in growing markets. 